Hi everyone, I'm Allie Grayman. Today I just wanted to remind you that no matter what real life gives you, if you're having a lot of stress right now, if there's a lot going on and you feel like it's hard for you to concentrate on OCD recovery when there's so much going on, know that you are not alone. It, pretty much I would say every single client, very rare that the person doesn't have a lot of uh, stressful situations. They've always got something that holds them back in terms of um, pushing 100% towards OCD. I would only do better in recovery work if I didn't have to deal with this or if I didn't have to deal with that. And you have to understand that that's absolutely everyone. And your 100% effort in doing recovery work means 100% effort with what you've got right now in the situation that you are um with the situation that you're facing if you are already very stressed and all you can do is 10 percent, then 10 percent is your 100 percent. that is literally the best you can do okay and that's fine and that is all you can do for today for tomorrow whatever if the circumstances are such where This is the maximum and you can't change those circumstances, which is most of the time not the case. Most of the time you can do something, take on less of a workload, um, uh, adjust things, you know, in whatever way, Um, you know, if it's a relationship issue, then, you know, work on resolving the issue rather than escalating the issue. So those kinds of things can make a difference. But if you feel like right now, today, as if, As it is right now, things are what they are. This is the most I can do. And that's it. And that's it. But every day doing something. As I say in all my videos, well, not all my videos, but a lot of my videos, that 5% better than previous day. That's all you need to do. You don't need to go further than that. Just 5% better than yesterday in terms of refusing reaction, not giving into compulsions, uh, less rumination, less checking, asking, uh, researching, whatever you want to say. Right? 5% less of all of that. And you will see how stuff, uh, stuff starts to improve. The anxiety starts to go down. It's not, uh, it doesn't seem as relevant anymore. It doesn't seem as scary anymore. But it takes a little bit of time. It's not overnight. So being okay with devoting a few months to this, to the process of recovery, of every day being focused for just say like, let's say two months. And from there you will see, I mean, in two months, your brain will not fully recover. Okay. I would say, it. you know, when I say uh, it takes about six months, That standard still pretty much most of the time holds true. But you will feel like you're almost recovered in two months. Of just doing little by little. Every single day. Or at least attempting as much as you can to do every single day. And maybe some days it didn't work out. Some days it was just didn't happen. You went backwards. That's okay. But you keep picking yourself up. and, And don't really dwell on the bad days. Bad days happen to pretty, I mean, not pretty much everyone, absolutely everybody who's doing recovery work, where they have setbacks, they slip back, they do uh, all the compulsions that they're not supposed to be doing, and, uh, and and that's normal, and then you just pick yourself up, and you do better the next day, because you know that you can't keep zooming in to compulsions and to rumination, because it feels more real, it gets worse, compulsions grow, Rumination grows, everything spreads, you can't go down this road. A lot of the times it helps right when the thought pops in and right before you do a compulsion, right? That moment in between where you got a thought, you feel paralyzed, but you still have not really kind of done research or compulsion or whatever yet. Think, project yourself an hour from now. What's going to happen? If an hour from now you're going to be way worse, what's the point of doing it? If an hour from now uh, you're going to be better, do that. But not in the way of obviously seeking reassurance. No, 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 no. But, uh, but if, if an hour from now you're going to be so deep in compulsions, in fear, in all of that, why? 
Why are you gonna go down the same road? Choose not to. You will see. You won't be wrong. Just keep going every single day. This is how I rec- I had severe OCD. You know, as I'm sure pretty much everybody, everybody's listening to it probably will say, yeah, I have severe OCD too, because you probably wouldn't be listening to this if you didn't have severe OCD, right? So if I can recover just going little by little, then you can recover doing the same thing. Granted, my recovery took a lot longer just because um, I didn't really know what I was doing when I was going through the process of recovery. This is, you know, like a decade back um, because nobody really told me what to do but by method of trial and error and seeing that you know I've been doing reassurance for a long time it's clearly not working um you start to get these patterns and understand how OCD works and um start to kind of dig more into it um and and really see what what is the right thing to do in terms of recovery and you listening to this podcast already know what the right thing to do is you just have to be brave, stay strong, feels real, doesn't matter. It's OCD. Doesn't matter how real it feels. It feels real every time for absolutely everyone. The level of how much, how real it feels um, depends on your level of anxiety. It's the same. 10 out of 10 anxiety feels extremely real. 9 out of 10 anxiety, a little less real, right? So it, they're, they're, you know, one equals the other. So just look at it. it. feels real. That's a symptom of OCD. I'm choosing to disregard because I've played this game many times before. I'm not doing it again. And you will see. Things will start to evolve and shift and get better. But it is just a step-by-step process. There is really no shortcuts with this. You can have days where you fail in doing recovery work. That is normal. That is fine. That I wouldn't even call it a fail. That's probably not the right word to use. But just, okay, things happen. That's life. And again, you're doing the most that you possibly can in the position that you're in. If you're stressed out, okay, you'll do a little bit less. But I do suggest reducing stress wherever possible. And there's there's always something you can... I mean, I'm sure there's situations where there's nothing you can do, but there's always something you can do. Even if, say, for example, your workload is really high or your uh, uh, relationship or family situation is really complicated. But can you rest more? Can you go to sleep a little bit earlier? Can you take naps more? Can you meditate? Can you um, do things that will help you relax to counteract the additional stress? And sometimes maybe that's that's the answer in, in some some situations. So try to come up with creative ways to um, to give your brain the room that it needs to recover. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find my videos helpful. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I do daily videos on all things related to OCD recovery. If you would like to do one-on-one recovery program with me, all the information is on youhaveocd.com. You can sign up from there, book the appointment. And um, again, as I always say, if you're booking, especially a large package, please make sure you're booking the appointments as you need them. Therefore, um, you have the the space um, because it does get booked up and then it's a little bit difficult. So, Try to book them as much as possible. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow.